There are tales of a box that brings death upon any who dare open it. Tell me, do you think those rumors could be true? Hey, look! There it is! Now this is what I call deluxe. Just look at this room. Yes, I can certainly see why some call the Molin Teddy Express a cruise ship on rails. <laughs> this sofa's great. <laughs> now don't forget, Luke. A gentleman pays attention to his manners in every setting. So what's the actual story behind the Elysian box anyway? All who open it die, huh? Hmm, sounds awfully fishy to me. Perhaps so, but we've seen it happen with our very own eyes. The answer is out there, Luke, but I just need to find it. We will. I know it. There was a box that was rumored to kill anyone who opened it. At first, neither the professor nor I believed it. But all that changed with the arrival of a single letter. Luke, have a look here. Oh, what's that, professor? It's a letter from my dear friend and mentor, Dr. Andrew Schrader. Is everything all right? My dear Herschel, knowing you, I imagine you've already heard of the relic known as the Elysian Box. This strange antique is infamous for killing anyone who opens it. Truth be told, I'm a bit dubious of the box's murderous reputation, but you know how I am. Once something piques my interest, I simply must get to the bottom of it. That's why I'm pleased as punch to tell you that the elusive item is finally in my possession. What's more, I believe I'm on the cusp of unraveling a great mystery tied to this box. For the moment, let's just say I have a theory, though I haven't been able to prove it yet. Initially, it was my intention to finish my research before daring to open its lid. But I must confess that my curiosity is simply overpowering. In the unlikely event that anything should happen to me, please, finish the work I've started here. Your friend, Andrew Schrader. According to the postmark, this letter was sent two days ago. We should go pay the doctor a visit. I just can't shake the feeling that something awful has happened. Well, your intuition's usually spot on. I say we head out right away.
Let's see if this works. That was almost too easy. Consider this puzzle solved. Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. This should do the trick. Ha! Huh, wonderful!
just leave it to me. That was almost too easy. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Professor! Yeah. No, and true. How could this have happened? This is terrible, Professor. Do you suppose the Elysian box did this to Dr. Schrader when he tried to open it? I honestly don't know, Luke. But that can wait. Right now, we need to notify the police. Of course, Professor. Hmm? What do we have here? A train ticket for the Molentary Express. Now, this is strange. Look, there's no destination written on this ticket. Have you ever seen a train ticket that didn't say where it was taking you? Yes, very strange indeed. Inspector Chelmy's the name. You two found the body, did you? <coughs> no, Luke. Let him go. <coughs> Luke, stop that. That's his face. Listen here, Luke. Oh, my gosh. His face doesn't come off. He's the real deal. What in the blazes? That's my face. Not some piece of taffy! I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean it. I was sure we had another imposter on our hands. What in the world is this child talking about? I swear, young ones these days have no manners. My apologies for the confusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Herschel Layton. I'm a professor of archaeology at Gressenheller University. And I'm his apprentice, Luke. Interesting. So if I understand correctly, you keep a child around as an apprentice, do you? Not at all, sir. In truth, he's... Professor Layton's apprentice, like I said. Hmm. Well, it's really none of my concern. I have a crime scene that needs my attention. Clear a path, will you? But of course. Luke, not a word about that ticket to the authorities, all right? You bought it, Professor. Hmm, yes. Let's see. What do we have here? A murder? Or was the crime self-inflicted? Inspector, I should tell you that the door was locked before Luke and I came in. I see. So this door, the sole entry point in and out of this eighth floor flat, was shut tight. Then the doctor was holed up in here, completely apart from the outside world, yes? That being the case... Hmm. Yes, I'm sure of it. The old gent must have suffered a heart attack. What? How did you come to that conclusion, sir? Use your noodle, laddie. What other explanation could there be? It's true that the flat is on the eighth floor and that the door was locked, Inspector. Still, I'd hesitate to say that this room was completely closed off from the outside. Is that so? Please elaborate. Isn't it obvious? There's something quite unusual about our crime scene that's been overlooked. Eh? It's as plain as the nose on your face, Inspector. <laughs> I suppose you academics think your fancy degrees prepare you to play detective, eh? I tell you, nowadays, 
It seems like everybody and their mum thinks they can do my job. Now, as I was saying, the cause of death was heart failure, plain and simple. And there's what caused it. This, it's a scaled-down model of a Kronosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. I reckon that ugly mug will give anyone nightmares. Here's what probably happened. The old fellow turned on the light, took one look at the beast, and then killed right over. But this is the doctor's own home. Why would the bones he put up himself scare him? People have a way of becoming forgetful with age. Not that you'd understand, boy. Well, you're right about that. I don't think I understand it at all. Mr. Letton, was it? No? Ah, yes, Leighton. Mr. Leighton, what do you think? The scenario you paint certainly isn't out of the realm of possibility. But, considering the lights were off when we entered the room, I don't think we've found our answer yet. Oh, uh, really? Furthermore, look around you, Inspector. Doesn't anything strike you as odd? What do you mean, Professor? Study your surroundings, Luke. I'm sure you can see it, too. Leave it to me! That was almost too easy! Of course! This window is missing a curtain! Hmm, so it is. But what exactly does this have to do with my crime scene? Someone exited the building through this window, and I'll bet he's our culprit. I'd say that's a sound theory. Well done, my boy. Oh, uh, yes. Sound as a pound. I was just about to propose the same idea myself. Liar! Shh, Luke, listen. I don't believe our friend the inspector will be of much help to us. What say you and I conduct a little investigation of our own? Professor, look! There's something in Dr. Schrader's hand! It's an old photograph, but it's been torn into so many pieces, I can't make out the original image. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't just pour evidence in a crime scene. Get your hands off that... Uh, that... Uh, what is this, anyway? Hmm, not that it matters. I'll be holding on to that. Now, out with the both of you.
Professor Layton and Luke sped away from the city, unaware of the secrets that awaited them down those iron tracks. Leave it to me! Layton's apprentice strikes again!
Here goes. That was almost too easy. This should do the trick. And there we have it.